Hello everyone! So I can't be in class today, but here is the homework. We're going to finish our Evidence of Evolution worksheet that we started on Thursday and Friday. So we already did part one. We learned about fossils and we wrote our answers. And we already did part two about embryos. And we also wrote our answers on here. So we should be starting with number three, similar bones. So similar means close to the same, but not exactly the same. And so they're close, they're close together. And what you're going to do is you're going to look at these arm bones. So these are bones from arms, and there's a human, a horse, a whale, a turtle, a frog, and a bird. And you'll see they all have the bone. So this is the arm for the human, and this is the arm for the horse, and this is the arm for the whale. Okay, and you'll see there's this purple bone, is the same as this purple bone, is the same as this one. They're all called the same. They're all the same kind of bone. And what you can see is all of them have one of these purple bones. All of them have these blue parts, the orange parts, and yellow parts. So they all have the same kinds of bones, even though they have different arms, right? So that's kind of cool. So you're gonna answer these questions about the bones. What do you notice about the kinds of bones? Are they the same or different? Are they, do they all have the same bones? What about the shape? Is the shape the same, right? Um, what does each animal use their arm for? And again, don't write anything here. It's the example you're gonna write on the blue part. So it says, for example, the human uses its arm to reach and grab things, to hold things, and to help us do what we need, right? So we can use that as our example. The human uses its arm to reach and grab things, to hold things, and to help us do anything we need, right? What does a horse use its arm for? The horse uses its arm to um, run, fast and gallop galloping is like jumping right what does the whale use its arm for the whale uses its arm to swim in the ocean right so you're going to do that for all of them you're going to tell me what do they use their arms for and then how do the bones help each animal do their specific function so this question is kind of hard um, we need to look back at the pictures. So let's see here. How come the human bones look like this? And I don't know, how come the whale bones look like this? Right, so maybe we can talk about how the humans need a long arm so they can reach and hold things and they need their fingers, right? And the whale, they have really big like arms so that they can swim. Right? You can see maybe the bird. The bird has really small bones so it can fly. Right? So that's what you're going to write on here. So maybe we'll say something like um, the whale has bones spread out so it can have a big arm to swim. Right, what else? The bird has small bones because, I'm going to keep answering, okay? So make sure you do that. And then the last one, why do similar bones show evolution? So we talked about evidence, right? Why is this evidence for evolution? You're going to write your answer here. And then part four is about vestigial structures. So this is a uh, things on a body that we don't need anymore, but they used to help us do something a long time ago. And I mean a really, really long time ago, right? So here's an example. Did you know that humans have a tailbone? Do we have a tail? No, we don't have a tail, but we have a tailbone. Look, it's right here. And everybody has that tailbone. And here's the picture of it, right? And here's a picture of a monkey's tail and their tailbone. So. We don't have a tail and we don't need the tail, but why do you think we have a tailbone? And then you can write your answer here. 
And what do you think tails were used for? Why are tails good to have? Do you think tails, I don't know, are, are good for climbing? Are they good to help us stand and balance? Are they um, good to say hello? What, what are we using the tails for? What do you think tails are good for? And then number 13 is why don't humans need tails? Why don't we need tails? How come humans don't have tails? Right, so your answer there. And then last, why do vestigial structures show evolution? So why do these things show evolution? Why are they evidence for evolution? And then finally, here's the last question. What are the four things we learned about? Hint, there's the four parts, right? Vestigial structures, similar bones, embryos, and fossils. Those are the four. Okay, so once you finish with this, make sure you turn it in on Google Classroom. And we're going to talk about the answers on Tuesday when we come back to class. Um, oh, remember, Tuesday is a minimum day. It's a short day. So block four, our biology class, starts at 1.30 tomorrow. Okay, so I'll see you at 1.30 for our Zoom. Bye.